every single video from space, you can see the bubbles from the water. Have you seen the ones where they're holding objects that all accidentally disappear? Yeah. And then they reappear in their hands. I mean, I, if you watch those NASA videos, it's my... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so she's got a ball that's filled with helium. It's a real ball. But this is not real. Watch, I'll show it again. This is not real. Yeah. He even beamed it in. And so she's playing with it. It's called augmented reality, right? They're moving. She, see, she either has contacts in or is looking at a screen behind behind the, the camera. And she's move, manu maneuvering objects. It's It's just green screen technology um, that they use. It's very simple and they're really bad at it. They're horrible at it. different there's a different feeling for sure because there there's this idea of being just randomly in space floating and not knowing anything around us and then this idea that we are more important that we are the center of the universe and it does change your perspective and i after watching that i did go and look in the bible because i recall the page verse one. about the firmament start page one it's right seriously there and i was like i was <laughs> I was raised in the church and I'm like, this was never talked about or explained to me. And right here it says that God separated the waters from the waters. And oh, yeah. I would love for you to discuss more of the firmament, if you don't mind. So, so what is, what is the flat earth? Um, I believe that, uh, that we have a dome that you know, we live in this pond. Um, I believe that space is actually liquid. And if you listen to all the stuff NASA says, everything they talk about is nautical terms. The sea of tranquility, the starships, the docking, you know, ships docking, it's all nautical terms. I don't believe anyone's going to space. No one's ever gone to space because space isn't what they say it is. They've been trying to break through the firmament. Um, but the dome, is, I believe that the dome, this is my belief. The dome attaches to the high mountains in the outer lands of Antarctica. It comes down to that point. That's my belief. Maybe it goes on beyond that. Again, I don't know. Nobody knows. No, nobody, no, nobody of the, us common folk know. <laughs> so, so what's out there? What's it made out of? Um, I don't know. But I don't believe uh, anyone has gotten through it yet. But if you listen to Hillary Clinton, she's saying, you know, we're going to break through that highest, hardest glass ceiling. You know, we've got cracks in it. They're trying to break God's creation. We know we've got to keep uh, pushing at that glass ceiling to break through the highest and hardest glass ceiling. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you. It's got about 18 million cracks in it. No one feels it would be better to crack that glass ceiling <laughs> than to have a woman as president. What an incredible honor that you have given me. And I can't believe we just put the biggest crack in that glass ceiling yet. I know we have still not shattered that highest and hardest glass ceiling, but someday, someone will and hopefully sooner than we might think right now.